Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the NJ Podcast. This podcast aims to share stories, tips and insights about achieving success while having fun. From topics ranging from personal development to business, entertainment and sports, the podcast will have conversations with experts and people in their respective fields. The podcast will also share insights from Jabra James's published and upcoming books. The tagline, which is the theme of the podcast, is success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. This means that you are doing what you have always wanted to do because it is aligned with your highest values and this is the only way you can live a truly fulfilled life. Your host, Jablo James. Hey brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode of the NJ Podcast where we are on the foolishness of preaching. This is where we're going to talk about the gospel of Jesus Christ and how it can make your life better. As is custom, we're going to start with a story. Like, I want to share the story. I was watching my neighbor's children playing a game of football. Uh, one of the little boys was always the last to be picked. And as he began to play, the little boy fell and he slipped and tripped and pretty much did everything you're not supposed to do in a game of football. Needless to say, this guy was not Lionel Messi, right? However, every time he got up, he dusted himself off and with a big grin on his face, he would say, I'm just glad I got chosen. It was then I realized it's not about how good you are, it's about being chosen and making the absolute most of it. Our verse for today is found in 1 Peter 2 verse 9, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Brothers and sisters, just like this little boy in the soccer game, football game, we've been chosen. We've been handpicked by God himself to play in life's grand field. Not because we're perfect, not because we never trip or fall, but because of his great love for us. Think about Brother Moses, right? He was raised as an Egyptian prince. He ended up as a fugitive after killing an Egyptian. But it was this murderer, this stutterer, this man with a speech impediment that God chose to lead his people out of slavery. Read his story in Exodus 3 verse 10. And Moses didn't even feel adequate, but God said, I will be with you. As we read in Exodus 3 verse 12. God has chosen each and every single one of us for his purposes. Now think about Esther. She was a Jewish orphan, was chosen as a Persian queen. She used her influence to save the people of Israel from extermination. Now, she could have just sat back in the palace and not cared about anybody else, and she could have ignored the danger, but Mordecai reminded her, and this is a message for you and I, and who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom for such a time as this, as we read in Esther 4 verse 14. Think about the Apostle Paul. Now, before he was converted, he was a persecutor of the early Christians. Yet Jesus chose him. He said in Acts 9 verse 15, Go, for he is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. God didn't look at Paul's past. He had a plan for his future. Brothers and sisters, you too have been chosen by God. You might not think you're good enough, not smart enough, not holy enough, not set apart enough, but remember, God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. You are a part of God's team. He has handpicked you to shine his light into this world. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have chosen us to be your children. We are not perfect, Lord, but you chose us anyway. Help us to walk in confidence knowing that we are chosen, we are loved, and we are called according to your purpose. Give us the courage to carry your light into the world and to fulfill the plans you have for us. May your will be done in our lives. We pray all of these in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all now 
and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us on this episode on the NJ Podcast. Make sure to visit the website at the njpodcast.captivateair.fm where you can subscribe to the show in iTunes, Stitcher, all the other podcast platforms or via RSS so you never miss a show. You can also find the video content on the YouTube channel and Instagram page. That will be in Jablo James on YouTube and jablo.j.ngosi for Instagram. Please subscribe and follow on those platforms as well. And while you're at it, if you found value in the show, we'd appreciate a rating on the podcast platforms. Or if you'd like to tell a friend about the show, that will help us out too. If you'd like more information about published or upcoming books, visit www.njablojames.com for more information. Please reach out if you'd like to share what you would like to hear and which guests should be invited to the show. And remember, success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal, which means that you are doing what you have always wanted to do because it is aligned with your highest values and this is the only way you can live a truly fulfilled life. Now just chill until the next episode.